Hey Mountaineers, I'm Matthew Hudson, a presidential student ambassador at West Virginia University. Are you seeking advice from a current college student? Are you wondering about their takeaways from the time spent in college so far? Today, I'm going to tell you three things I wish I not only heard, but also listened to before starting college. To make the most of your time in college, I encourage you to find your niche, find your balance, and find your style. I attended a relatively small high school with around 200 students in my graduating class. While this allowed me to get involved in countless leadership positions and clubs, I knew going into a school with 5,000 others in my graduating class would make this more difficult, or so I thought. When I first got on campus, the first thing many people wanted to do was to adjust to college life. I thought that was too boring. After all, how would I make my mark and meet new people by sitting back? I was ready to find my niche. Before the pandemic disrupted our usual welcome week events, we were provided immense opportunities to try new things, meet new people, and experience college life without the added pressure of classwork. Soon, these events will return, and I encourage you to absolutely make the most of them. Go on an adventure trip. I chose whitewater rafting. Go to Fall Fest and listen to the musical artists the university brings in, and take time to meet the other people on your floor in your dorms. To this day, I still speak with some of the people I met on my trip during Welcome Week. There's also a student organization fair where you can capture a glimpse of the hundreds of opportunities waiting for you to make a lasting impact. Pick your top few interests and wholeheartedly pursue them. This is how I found my niche. You will find your way and discover new passions in the process. I still remember coming home on the weekends and my mom telling me how worried she was that I was overdoing it, stretching myself too thin and taking on too much. At the time, I felt as though I was at the apex of my freshman experience, shadowing physicians, meeting new friends, involvements in numerous clubs, a heavy course load, and still maintaining a 4.0 GPA. If you haven't caught on yet, I'm urging balance, which often only comes after serious self-reflection. We are at WVU first and foremost for our education. However, we are also here to be bold, to try new things, to have fun. These are not just things we should do when we have time. These are things for which we must ensure time has been made. It is important or you will sooner or later get burnt out. Bewildered and excited by the seemingly limitless opportunities at WVU, I found myself increasingly anxious and strapped for free time. The point here is easier said than done, but it's okay to say no. In fact, it's good. If done for the right reasons, it shows a commitment to yourself and to your future. In time, you will find your balance and be better for it. After some self-reflection, I knew that I needed to become even more organized to relieve the burden of keeping up with assignments. There was this thing called Google Calendar that would sync to my WVU email and my dad suggested it numerous times, all of which I resisted. Well, here I am, and I'm telling you to use it. Use Google Calendar and a notes page on your computer to outline class times, study times, and exam dates. It syncs with your phone to remind you while you're on the go too. It's automatically set to remind you of these events 10 minutes beforehand. To this day, I live and die by my Google Calendar. I often say, if it's not on the calendar, it's not getting done. Use this to determine how much time you can take off to provide yourself a healthy balance. I also use a digital notes page on my computer to provide myself a daily to-do list. I found it beneficial to include deadlines beside these tasks. As you try new things, you'll find out what works for you. You'll find your style. Mentally preparing for college can be daunting, but it's important to take it one step at a time. Do what you can, when you can, where you can. We are all unique. So never be afraid to take a leap or a step back. Focus on these three things, finding your niche, finding your balance, and finding your style.